welcome to today's vlog. I'm Gary Wiryawan and we are still in New Zealand right now. We're still in Queenstown and today we are checking out this area. This is Lake Hayes near Queenstown and it is so beautiful today. The sun is out but it's a little bit cold right now so please uh, don't mind me wearing this earmuff for my uh, warmer ear. But anyway we're going to try to find some composition right here in Lake Hayes. We're gonna try to find some wide angle pictures, some telephoto pictures. It's such a beautiful day. It's a very sunny day. The sky is very clear. There's lots of interesting clouds and lighting happening right now. So yeah, let's go ahead and try to find some composition. All right, so I think I have a composition right here in Lake Hayes. As you can see right there, we have this beautiful tree on the foreground with a little bit of bush on the left side of the image right here. And then over here, we have the Lake Hayes itself. And then we also have this sort of hills, mountain as a background with the beautiful blue sky right now. So I want to capture this using a wide angle lens. So I have my Panasonic G85 with the Panasonic Leica A2 18mm set up right here. I'm at full manual F8. I'm at about 2 second exposure because I'm using a 10 stop ND filter right here. This is the uh, uh, KNF uh, mag uh, concept magnetic filter ND1000, so a 10 stop ND filter. ISO 200. So I'm focusing right on this tree right here and we're going to try to capture the image right now. I'm at 2 second timer to avoid some camera shake, so let's go ahead and try to do that. I'm just going to focus into the tree. I'm going to remove the uh, going to remove the filter and I'm going to focus first using the touch screen and focus on the uh, tree right here. Actually I want to zoom out a little bit to about 13 millimeter or so. Let's focus first, switch to manual focus, go to full manual and then reattach the filter. Make sure I'm at two second timer and take the picture. All right, I think it's done. Let's check out the result. Yeah, I think it looks kind of nice. I'm using the ND filters to blur out and smooth out the waves from the lake right now because currently we have lots of wind here in Queenstown. So yeah, I'm going to take one more picture just to make sure. I'm going to switch to autofocus. I'm going to take out the filter. I'm switching to aperture priority and I'm going to focus once again on the tree. Right, I think we have the focus locked. Switching back to manual, switching to manual focus, reattach the filter, and take the picture. Two second timer. We're gonna wait for a little bit. Right, I think it's done. Let's check the picture. I think it looks kinda nice. Yep, one composition here in Lake Hayes. Alright, so I think we found our second composition here in Lake Hayes. I sort of like this sort of lines going into the lake over here, the border between the water and the land. And also I love those boats parked over there with the trees on the right side and then also a little bit of the hills and the mountain as a background with the blue sky. And also I particularly love this piece of wood right here on the ground. I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, that makes for a great sort of foreground of interest for a picture so yeah I'm going to do a vertical composition right here as you can see I'm at full manual again f8 uh, ISO 200 I'm at about two seconds still with the ND filter to smooth out the water a little bit I'm waiting for the waves to come by near the wood right here and the border between the land and water so that I can get a better sort of a uh, uh, sort of the waves coming kind of thing going on with the picture so yeah, I'm going to switch to aperture priority just for a second. I'm going to switch to uh, autofocus. I'm using the touch screen here to focus on the wood part right there. All right, I think we have the focus locked. And then I'm going to move to manual focus to lock the focus and then switch to full manual. Set a two second timer to avoid camera vibration and shake. And we're just going to take the picture. All right, I think we have it. I'm gonna take one more picture, waiting for the perfect moment for the wave to crash in right here. I think it's about now. One more, just to make sure. 
one more maybe I'm just going to make sure okay I think we got it yep yep I can see right there that's the wave crashing so yeah this is the kind of composition that I like uh, for landscape photography in particular and here in New Zealand we just had so many opportunity to do this kind of photography all right Alright, so we have another composition. Basically, this is the same composition as earlier with the wide angle lens, but now I'm switching to a telephoto lens with my Panasonic GX85. I have the 35 to 100 millimeter f4 to f5.6 with ND filter. I'm just uh, composing on this sort of tree uh, intersecting with the hills and the mountain behind with a little bit of the lake just sort of this uh, tight compression landscape picture kind of thing so yeah uh, we're going to take the picture right now I'm uh, I don't want to switch to aperture priority on this thing because it's a little bit cumbersome so I'm just going to focus on the tree by using the touch screen directly right here on the manual I have f8 two seconds ISO 200 with 10 stop ND filters the same ND filters as before and I'm just going to focus on the tree and set two second timers and we're going to take the shot all right something like that very simple not too complicated it's just a nice tight composition with the ND filter it helps to make the waves a little bit calmer I like calmer water as opposed to water with lots of waves because I think it's just nicer in my opinion let's go ahead and try to take the picture one more time all right right thing that looks nice Alright, so I think I have another composition right here. I want to try to take a tight landscape photography kind of stuff again with the GX85 and the 35 to 100. I want to focus on these uh, trees on the right and just that part of the intersection between the mountain, the hills, the houses and the sky with the lake. Horizontal composition, I'm at about 60 millimeter, something like this, very simple, not too complicated. I'm at aperture priority, f8, I want to get everything in focus on this particular picture. Something like this, not too complicated, very simple, just the usual landscape picture, but I want to try to get a composition that I particularly like. I want to try to experiment by going a little bit to the right and get more of the trees. And maybe I want to try to eliminate the tree and going a little bit tighter at about 70 millimeter, something like this. Just a little bit of that bush area over there. Let's try vertical composition. Yeah, I like vertical. I think this is nice. Well, if the light changes a little bit, I think the sun's uh, being covered by the cloud, but it's okay. It changes the lighting and the mood, but we're gonna have the sun back in just a few seconds. We're gonna wait for that while I'm taking this picture. I kind of like the uh, vertical composition better. We have the sun back right now. Changes the lighting, of course. And it looks kind of nice. All right. One more picture for today. This is just sort of a uh, quick kind of easy simple tight landscape picture with the telephoto lens I kind of enjoyed using telephoto lenses for this particular trip in New Zealand I kind of like the simplicity of just focusing on a certain part of the image rather than trying to find a foreground of interest adding lots of elements into the picture using a wide angle lens so I'm starting to learn how to properly use the telephoto lens right now and I think this is kind of fun and also something new for me so I enjoyed the learning process as well so for the picture right now I want to try to focus on just that mountain area where you can see the V shape right there I don't know if you can see it or not I want to try to focus on the lines and also the intersection with the hill on the front and also a little bit of the lake so I'm going really tight right now at about maybe 100 no not 170 millimeter something like this I want to try to focus on that area let's try simple horizontal composition first something like this yeah not too complicated I think this looks kind of nice 
Yep. Something like that. And now I'm going to uh, be really tight at about 100 and I'm doing this vertical composition. I'm going to go a little bit to the right where uh, there's like uh, the area in the mountain where the lighting is kind of interesting. It has lots of highlights and shadow and I want to emphasize that on my picture. So I'm focusing on the hill uh, in front of the mountain and I'm just going to take the picture like so. Let's try horizontal composition with this focal length. I think it's going to be interesting. Something like this maybe. Yep, one more time. All right. And that wraps up today's video. So that is all for today's vlog. I hope that today's photo shoot in Lake Hayes has been interesting and inspiring for you. And yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap it up for today. After this, we're gonna have a little bit of dinner and relaxing time in our Airbnb. Tomorrow, we're gonna check out some other places in Queenstown. So stay tuned for that. So that is all for today's video. Please don't forget to like my video, share my video, and subscribe to my channel down below. It will really help a lot to support my channel. Thank you and see you on the next video. Goodbye.